What picture comes to mind when you hear the word Sahara? Well, it usually portrays certain images of camels traveling on an empty sandy land, walking along the dunes, a broad landscape stretching far and far the horizon. The sun is beaming so bright that it looks like it was just beside the earth. And if you walk into this desert, it is like there is no one else in the world with you but the gushing wind and the sun's ray kissing on your skin. Seemed like an awkward image painted on your mind. But that is not what the Sahara is all about. What does this majestic piece of land hide from humanity? And what is underneath its hot sands? You may find this hard to believe, but 6,000 years ago, this land fell into the area of 9 million square kilometers, or almost 3.5 million square miles, was covered with thick greenery bushes. There were inhabitants and settlements, and animals fed on its land. But today, as we all know, there is basically nothing to be found on its stretch but hot masses of sand. There were green fields and clear skies. The rainfall back then was so abundant that it carried into the river Tamanraset and traveled to the whole Sahara and then finally out into the Atlantic Ocean. This river, with many branches, measured in the length of more than 500 kilometers and 311 miles and could have been placed in the list of the longest rivers in the world. In 2015, there were 3D satellite images that helped find the Paleo River. With the help of these images, scientists found what lies underneath the bedrock of this modern-day desert, which is the smooth edges of the ancient channels of this newfound river. Today, there is a lake near to be called a ghost lake in Central Africa which is called Lake Megachad. Of this large lake, the modern Lake Chad only remains. And once upon a time, this lake was bigger than any other lake, much bigger than the Caspian Sea, with a measurement of almost 390,000 square kilometers, or extending for 150,000 miles across the Sahara Desert. If the lake existed now, it would make the top list of the largest lake found on the globe. There were images that were released by NASA that portray how big this lake was. It is like a silent taunt to all of humanity who have been a part of the draining of this large lake, which could have been a large water reservoir for the civilization around it. A lake that has been forever imprinted in the bellows of the wide Sahara. So what happened? Why did this once green, prosperous and healthy region suddenly become the most lifeless, inert and untraveled part of this planet? Scientists who study the Sahara have different assumptions on why this happened. Number one example is the theory of environmental archaeologist David Wright who viewed the one-third of Africa's climate change as caused mainly by livestock. Different animals like cows, goats and sheep feed and rely on the grass and vegetables found on the ground. Due to the consumption of these green leaves, it made the soil underneath exposed to sun rays and reflected more sunlight that greatly affected the atmosphere. The ability of the surroundings to produce precipitate decreases, thus making way for drought to happen and began the events leading to its end. Droughts began to cripple into the veins of every plant and vegetation there is, and the once green Sahara became a huge region with sandy lands that is just about the size of the United States. With this theory, it is not only the animals that were only to blame, but maybe there is also one living being that is as responsible as the animals. Perhaps the cattle farmers were the promoter of an unknown process that began to peel off the land's green cover. It has been given by many that everything is not that simple. In the year 2018, there are a group of scientists that had made the assumption that, alternatively, ancient hoarders have prolonged the blooming of the fields of the Sahara by another 500 years, said one of the authors of the study. It is because of the selective grazing and cattle driving that the herders practiced that helped in maintaining the ecosystem. There is another third group of scientists that have the assumption that the Earth's tilt on its own axis is to blame for this phenomenon. 
with their study on how much the dust precipitated on the coast of West Africa for the last 250,000 years, they have drawn a conclusion that every 20,000 years, the climate of the Sahara and North Africa changes from humid to dry. It is due to the shifting of the Earth on its axis that affects the amount of sunlight distribution to the place. The more solar radiation, the more active the monsoon, causing more precipitation that may occur in the summer. On the contrary, if there is less sunlight, the monsoon may weaken, and rainy seasons may actually become droughts. If this will be the case, the Sahara may have its green meadows again, and animals may live and survive in this land. With that being said, the Ghost Lake and the Invisible River are far from other mysteries that the majestic Sahara tried to hide from us. Back in the Mesozoic era, substantial rivers lie within here that divide the primeval continent of Laurasia and Gondwana. The ocean retrocede the continents and was divided. The plates have moved further away from each other, and as one may closely look on the surface of the sand, it may seem that as of today, a cemetery of whales has remained in this plate. It is now called Wadi El Hitan, an Arabic phrase that means Valley of the Whales. You may be surprised by this fact, but whales do have ancient ancestors as well. Basilosaurus had hind limbs and a set of very sharp teeth. It is known that their limbs were pretty small and were not considered used for movements, but they were categorized as one of the largest predators of their times. The size of an average Basilosaurus ranges from 21 meters long or 69 feet. Imagine how the 20th century scientists reacted when they saw the remnants of these prehistoric creatures just lying around the surface of the desert. It came along with fossils of ancient snakes, fish, turtles, manatees, and crocodiles. Probably the first thing that came into their mind was that someone may have perfectly lied their fossils on the sand, but everything after that became more fascinating. This hot spread of sand keeps other secrets away from humanity. It was said earlier that the ancient carnivorous whale roamed and hunt there, but anciently, other types of dinosaurs were also visible in the area. Here's the hint. The kind of dinosaur that aged for almost a hundred million years old. Its fossil remains were found in the Sahara. Here is a picture of the fossil remains of the sauropod, which were then called Paralytitan strumeri. Based on the evidence of the fossils gathered, this giant can grow into 32 meters or 105 feet long. Also, this ancient behemoth can weigh up to 60 tons. And just wait, there's more. Probably you won't remember that in 2018, there was a couple of bones found in the Sahara that came from a formerly unknown dinosaur, Mansurosaurus. This news boomed like a nuclear bomb and spread like wildfire. There were little data on the lives of the ancient creatures that lived on the Sahara in the late Cretaceous, between 66 and 100 million years ago. So this was pretty controversial at the time. Fun fact, it happens that the dinosaurs found here are very much alike to their European fellow. So their mind began to wander that these dinosaurs traveled to Africa from where modern Europe is now. How is this possible, you asked? Formerly, scientists have come to an understanding that these dinosaurs, after they were separated, cannot move between continents. But with this evidence, disproves the previously established theory on how these giants migrate. This newly found species has a weight of almost six and a half tons, normally as much as an African bull elephant, and measures from eight to 10 meters, or 26 to 33 feet in length. Today, this is one that was labeled as the most important discovery of the new species of dinosaur. The astounding discovery of the Mansaurosaurus can explain and paint as a picture of the Bayota and the Sahara had millions of years ago. But what's interesting is that there is a puzzling phenomenon and one of the greatest mysteries on the planet. Same with the Saharan Africa that lies in the Mauritania. It can be visible with the eyes when viewed in space. It is a unique geological formation labeled as the Eye of the Sahara, or Rickat structure. It is a geologic dome that contains rocks that date back to the beginning of life on Earth. The Eye is located in Western Sahara and is shaped like a blue bullseye. It can be seen from space and has been utilized by astronauts as a visual landmark. It has a measurement of 40 kilometers or 31 miles across. Persistent northeasterly winds keep much of the dome free from sand, exposing the various layers of rock. This discovery gained fame when the manned spacecraft Gemini 4 found it in 1965. 
Although this eye seemed to haunt the minds of scientists, making them wonder how this land formation originated. For years, they have been asking the main question. What is the origin of this structure? Does it come from an impact of an asteroid that previously hit the Sahara? If so, where are the craters that may have collapsed inward and formed a dome? If that is the answer, then why are volcanic ashes or rocks completely absent in the field? There are also fun and out-of-this-world comments that there was an alien landing in here and that this was all that's left of the exploration. Or this was the location of the hidden kingdom of Atlantis. But most of the scientists believe that this was caused by erosion. The only flaw in this theory is that the way the rings are eventually distributed, that scientists believe that this cannot be possible. Also, there is no other erosion on the planet that can match the distribution of this one. This eye is far from the most interesting discovery found on the planet. It is like this eye is helping the Sahara be on the lookout for anything or anyone. Does this eye guard the entirely buried civilization under the Sahara? Which were in fact partially discovered by archaeologists. Well, no one really knows yet. Picture this. Once upon a time, there is a majestic land in this very sand. High fortresses of buildings stood on this ground. Green meadows and bushes were stretched out for livestock to feed on. There are forests where animals come and hunt for prey. Fishes and amphibians splash around the waters of the rivers that were once located here. But now, what was once a beautiful habitat to living creatures became one hot piece of land where the sun never seemed to take away its rays and steamed the whole desert. What do you think the eye is still keeping away from humanity? What can the Sahara be still keeping hidden under its sand? Let us know what you think in the desert of the comment section and help us ease the exhaustion on that one lone hot journey in the desert. Be sure to tick the subscribe button and be alerted on any voyage updates in our channel.